Good morning and welcome to our topic today, which is binomial expansion. This is a short topic that will take us only today to go through. I know most of you are familiar with it, but for the sake of a few who have issues, I will give you one example that will uh, help us to go through it. Then uh, we can do several others from KMF and uh, go through them tomorrow and also um, the other day so that we can see if we can do a cut by Friday. The specific objectives for this topic as per the examination body neck is that you should be able to expand binomial expansion up to the power of 4 by multiplication. I know most of you don't have an issue with that. You can be able to do that comfortably. Uh, two, you should be able to build up Pascal's triangle up to the 11th row. That is not a big deal because the Pascal's triangle is already there in your mathematical table. So actually, you don't even need to know how to build it. The most important thing is how to use it. And that is... Uh, uh, covered in the next objective. You should be able to use Pascal's triangle to determine the coefficients of terms in the binomial expansion up to the power of 10. Uh, so your testing goes up to the power of 10. It does not go beyond. Actually, most of the questions are either power 6, power 5, around there, power 7 to the highest, maybe power 8. Then uh, the last objectives is that, uh, objective is that you should be able to apply binomial expansion in numerical cases. This is where you are told using the above expansion, expand maybe 1.96 to raise to the power of 6. That one should be done without using a calculator. Oh, here we are. This is the Pascal's triangle up to the power of 10. This is all you should know. Uh, you know how to develop it. You can see the outer uh, part you have one throughout. Then um, we have, we, we, it's, it develops from power zero. The first, the first row where you have one is power zero, then power one, power two, power three, power four, power five, all the way to power 10 should be able to use that. This, this, I know you're very familiar with this, this Pascal's triangle. A different version appears in your books, in your mathematical tables, but that should not be an issue. Pascal's triangle was developed by this scientist, Pascal, so that uh, it gives us the coefficients only, just that, the coefficients. Then we get the, the other terms. We combine the terms and the coefficients, and there we are. We are able to get the expansion without struggling too much. Here is my example using Pascal's triangle in binomial expansion. Example one, expand 3 plus 2x raised to power 6. I've taken this example cautiously. Uh, uh, most of the expansion would have 1 plus maybe x. But I want to pick this one for my reasons. Because 3 should be should, should raised to power 2x should also be in brackets as you will see as we continue. So I have picked it specifically. So from the Pascal's triangle, you pick the coefficients of power 6. These are 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6 and 1. The question does not tell you where to stop. Some questions are specific. You can be told to expand up to the first four terms. So you'd pick the first four coefficients. You might also be told to expand up to the term where x is raised to power 3. So that will uh, be determined by the next step, the terms themselves. So depending on the, 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 the instructions you have been given, uh, just move on with the question. If you are not told up to where, just expand all the way to the end. Like this question, you are not told up to where. So you expand all the way up to the end. So here we have the terms. Uh, 3, we didn't start from power 6 
and it's going to decrease up to power zero. So why it is power zero, I will not write it because any number raised to power zero is one. Then 2x, and remember 2x has to be in brackets. 2x will start with power zero. I have not written it because there's no need of writing a number power zero, it just remains as one. And then it will continue increasing from zero to one to two all the way up to six. So the first number starts with the highest power, decreases to zero. The second number starts with power zero, decreases up to the highest power. And in this case, it is six. So I've written the terms separating each with a comma. Uh, so you can see three raised to power six. The next term is three raised to power five and uh, then multiplied by two X, two X is in brackets. Then three raised to power four, multiplied by two X squared. Don't forget that two X is in brackets. Then three raised to power three, multiplied by two X raised to power three all the way the last one is 2x raised to power 6 i have told you i have not written a 3 because 3 there would be raised to power 0 uh, and there is no need of writing it there is also no need of writing power 1 just write the number like here i have written 3 without writing power 1 i've also written 2x uh, as a second term without writing power 1 then from there you combine the coefficient and the terms by multiplying so to get 729 it is 3 raised to power 6 the term multiplied by 1 the coefficient to get 2916 it is 3 raised to power 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6 to get 4860 it is 3 raised to power 4 multiplied by 2 squared which is 4 multiplied by 15 so you are taking the term you expand the term uh, uh, using the powers that are there, then multiply by the coefficient so that you get the whole of that statement. That part will earn you two marks. Uh, there's a method mark for getting the coefficient and terms combined, and then another method mark for combining to get the full expansion up to where the examiner wants you. Then the next part is applying binomial expansion in numerical cases whereby now you have been told in this example use your expansion above the one we have looked at to solve 3.2 raised to power 6 to two decimal places here you have to be very keen this is where the examiner gives you the specific instructions two decimal places four significant figures three decimal places so you have to make sure that your answer uh is, is is following those instructions so what you do here you take the expression that was in brackets that is 3 plus 2x and equate it to what is in brackets now that is 3.2 the purpose of this is to help you get the value of x so when you equate the two and you solve you take three to the other side you'll get 2x is equals to 0 0.2 you divide by two both sides you get x is equals to 0 0.1 then using the expansion now we substitute 0 0.1 x is equal to 0 0.1 in the expansion i've brought down the expansion here you don't have to bring it because it will be the same uh, uh, page you don't have to bring it but i've brought it here because it was in the previous page then i have shown you the substitution and the part of substitution is the one that is earning a mark you can see the way i've indicated so substitute where there is x put 0 0.1 then you solve that and uh, you, you can be helped by a calculator there and you will get uh, 1073.74 again correct to two decimal places as per the question it is not that all questions will be given uh, two decimal places you can be given other other instructions so just make sure you have followed the instructions uh, this question is normally in paper two uh, section one it's a common area and uh, it usually earns four marks. Sometimes X is in the numerator, other times X is in the denominator. But whatever the case, make sure you put uh, the X and its coefficient in brackets uh, when you're expanding to make sure you don't have uh, a challenge. 
Uh, that is it. In case you have other issues uh, arising from the topic, uh, we will address them in our in, in our WhatsApp forum. But for now, I would like you to go through the KCSC questions uh, in this topic from 2006 up to 2019. I don't know how many they are. If there are too many, we divide them into two. But I think I will be advised by the math reps in the, in the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. Continue practicing to be perfect. Don't ignore anything. This topic will give you four marks. Those are the marks that will make the A. Thank you.